Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz, and today's awesome video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your laptop to your TV. And you can see it's connected in the background. Oh, okay. It's working. You can see it. Um, wait, there you go. Wait, where's the camera? There is the camera. Okay. You, you can see it. You can see it on the TV that it's actually working. So let me just... Oh my goodness. Okay, so you can... Okay, I can zoom in. I can... Oh, that is not a good shot. That is not... That is... Okay, let me... Yeah, that, that is that is not a good shot, but it's pretty awesome and it's completely free. Everything is built into your laptop and you don't have to download anything on it. So let's just dive right into it. Okay, so I promised it's going to be really simple. So let's just dive right into it. So the first thing you want to do on your laptop is to make sure your laptop is connected to your home Wi-Fi. So in the corner, you have your Wi-Fi settings. You could just click on that and you can see my laptop is connected to my home Wi-Fi. Let me just zoom in so you can actually see what I'm doing. All right, so as you can see, my laptop is connected to my home Wi-Fi, and that is pretty much all you have to do on your laptop. First thing you wanna do on your TV is to basically just make sure your TV is connected to your home Wi-Fi or the Wi-Fi that is connected on the laptop as well. So in this case, just go into the settings page, go all the way down until you find something called network settings. Now, this might be different for you, so if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely help you out. Okay, so next up is to head over to the network settings. Now, if you have done this before, you can click on network status. It will automatically connect your TV. But if you have never done this before, you can go into the open wireless network settings, actually. Click on wireless and just make sure that the TV is connected to the exact same Wi-Fi as your laptop is connected to. In this case, it's gonna be my home Wi-Fi, and that is pretty much it. So once your TV is connected, that is pretty much all you have to do. You really don't have to do anything else until, unless you really have an old, older, older, older model, in which case you might have to enable the screen mirroring feature on your TV. I don't have to do this on this one. So to do that, you can just click on the sources option right there, and you would find something called a screen mirroring in your sources. I don't have that in here. I'm just gonna give you the information in case you need help okay so once your tv is connected to your wi-fi that is pretty much all you have to do all we have to do so now let me just take out the laptop and let me show you how you can connect it to your tv so let's do that on your laptop what you want to do is click on the windows option right there and you will get this uh settings and you can go into the laptop settings now let me just make it smaller so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Okay, so once you see these settings, this is where we'll, this is where the magic will happen, okay? So next up, what you wanna do is go to the Bluetooth and devices settings. So let me just zoom in, you can, actually, you can actually see what I'm doing. All right, so that's pretty much zoomed in. Okay, so you can see we have a couple settings. Though. So next up, what we will be using is going into the Bluetooth and device settings right there. So now, next up, we, what you need to do is to find something called devices, as you can see right there. All you have to do is just click on add a device right there. Once you do that, it will give you three different options. You have Bluetooth, you have wireless display, and everything else. So in this case, we have a wireless display since it's a TV. So add a device again, click on wireless display again. And as you can see right there, I've got my TV back, and that is gonna be my first one right there. So. We have the laptop. Okay, so I showed you before the settings that we'll be using. So in this case, let's do that. Let me just open up the settings first. It's kind of hard to use the laptop with one hand, by the way. So as we said before, just go into the settings page. Pretty simple. And by the way, don't worry about it. I'm gonna give you the tip and the bonus, the short shortcuts to do this, by the way. So yeah, wait for that. Okay, so once you're into the settings, as you can see, I am inside my settings. What I'm gonna do is go into the Bluetooth and device settings right there. I just hit the camera. <laughs> so Bluetooth and device settings right there. What I'm gonna do is scroll down just a tiny bit until you find something called add a device option right there. Click on that. And we're gonna be using the wireless display right there. So click on wireless display and let it search all the TVs that are connected on the same Wi-Fi. So in this case, it's gonna be my first one. The first one is gonna be with the TV. As you can see, I'm connected by there, right there, see? Uh, I don't know if you can see that right there, I'm connected. That's the laptop, and by the way, you can see it. I mean, okay, so there you go. We're actually connected. So, as you can see, it says my device is ready to go. I'm gonna just click on done, click exit, and you have it connected, okay, so. Pretty simple, I'm not doing much, I don't know. So yeah, I don't want you to assume that it's not connected. It's actually connected. I've just opened up Chrome and you can see the Chrome is being opened up on the TV as well. I just updated the Chrome as well. So let me just, 
Yeah, there you go. But let me just exit that. And let me just open up something on YouTube, okay? All right, so I've just opened up my YouTube channel so you can actually see it's really hard to use the laptop with one hand, by the way. Okay, so all the gestures will work from the uh, laptop. So let me just open up something you can actually... Okay, so let me just open up a video. By the way, the audio will be coming from the TV, so... I've been using iPhone since like 10 years, past 10 years. But I had no idea you could do something like this. Um, just gonna pause that. Okay, so you can see the audio is actually coming from the TV, which is pretty awesome the way it works. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. So I promised you a couple of shortcuts, so let's do that. Okay, so first one is gonna be on your screen. It's called the Windows plus P option. So let me just press that. Windows P. Once you, once you press the Windows P option, you will get couple different options. First one is gonna be the disconnect option. That's how you disconnect, by the way. Second up is gonna be the duplicate. And the third one is the extend option. That is actually my favorite. So let me just try that. I'm gonna show you how it works. So I'm just gonna click on extend option right there. As you can see, it's extended. Okay, so we're extended. Now, the how the extend actually works is really simple. Basically, the second, the TV that is running is basically my uh, second monitor. So let me just show you. Um, what I'm gonna do is open up the YouTube that we were using before. So as you can see, I have the I have the tab open and it's not working on the TV. So I'm gonna drag it and see it. It's being dragged inside it. Okay, there you go. Okay, so we have we have it there. Okay, so I'm just gonna make it a tiny bit smaller. Is there you go? Pretty awesome. You can you can drag it back into the laptop as well. So let me just really hard to use by the way. So let me just do that. Okay, there you go. There you go. It's pretty pretty awesome, right? Well, <laughs> that is pretty much it for the video. So again, the next short shortcut that you really have to remember is called Windows and uh, K option. So let me just press the Windows K. Once you do that, it will actually give you the similar option. So it won't show you right now. So I'm gonna just gonna disconnect it, and I'm gonna show you how to use the Windows and K option. So, okay, so let me just uh, click on the disconnect option right there. Okay, so we're we're basically disconnected right now. So, uh, the way you use the um, cast option, you can actually read it right there. It's called cast, it's press, just press Windows and K option and it will automatically give it to you. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you again. I'm gonna press on Windows and I'm gonna press on K option, Windows and K. And once you do that, it will give you the option to reconnect automatically. You don't have to go into the settings. You don't have to do anything that we did before. Yeah, pretty cool. So all you have to do is just tap on your TV and it should be connected. So as you can see right there, we're connected. We're being connected too, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. Just give it a couple seconds and we are connected. I mean, we're pretty connected, yeah. So let me just, let me just disable this. I mean, pretty awesome, right? So, um... Yeah, pretty awesome. I appreciate the, appreciate you watching till the end and I'll catch you next one. Peace out. All right, so that was pretty awesome, right? So you can, what you can do is subscribe to the channel, okay? If you find this video helpful, if you find this video that it helped you, you can subscribe to the channel. That's gonna help the channel a lot, okay? And also, if you have any questions, you can just comment down below. I'll definitely get back to you. I reply to almost every single comment that I see. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.